Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here and in this video I'm just going to give you a quick update to the latest anti-cheat measures that have been rolled out across PUBG. Now in my previous video I said that there was a new anti-cheat technology being rolled out to the test servers. This was being done in-house by PUBG, it wasn't being done by BattleEye who currently run their anti-cheat technology, but this was being done as a separate cheat technology that will run alongside BattleEye, so it's basically seen as two fists are better than one. So this anti-cheat technology was applied to the test server, I know that it created a lot of crashes for a lot of people, that it was quite um, unstable, but they got it to a point where they believed it was stable enough to roll out to the live servers. Now this was supposed to take place yesterday on Monday, but due to an unexpected error they had to postpone that, and they are looking to do some more testing as they've found out some that there's some compatibility issues with this new cheat technology but what they have said in the meantime is this anti-cheat technology was due to block reshade which is a popular third party app for PUBG. now if you don't know what reshade is it basically allows you to do better contrast and saturation within the game and it does from videos that i've seen make the game look a lot better it makes the colors look a lot more vibrant and things like that but it also allows you to pinpoint people that are hidden a lot better and there is apparently a zoom function within this third party app that allows you to zoom into a certain part of the screen this of course allows you to identify where players are allows you to aim at them better so this has now been blocked even though the new anti-cheat technology isn't out they've still blocked reshade so that tells me that they think reshade is one of the main culprits for cheating you know rather than wait for the anti-cheat technology to be ready to go they've just decided to block reshade anyway now if you do use reshade on your system they're saying that you will need to remove that they also recommend that you remove other third party apps from your computer before this anti-cheat technology gets rolled out and one of the reasons they're saying that is because basically this new anti-cheat technology will be hitting third party apps very very hard anything that edits the main game files to give you any kind of advantage is going to be hit with this new anti-cheat technology those are the things that they're going after but as i say if you have reshared remove it from your system you may also need to remove the game completely and then do a fresh install of the game because of course reshared ties in with the main game files and even removing just reshade may not stop the anti-cheat technology seeing that you did run that program and it still won't allow you to play the game. So this is a bold move from PUBG, even Brendan Green himself has previously stated that reshade was fine to run with the game but I think it's now progressed to a point where it's like I say, they seem to think that it's one of the main culprits that people are using to cheat within the game. So for me, I find this really good. I think it's about time that all of these third party apps, and I don't care what people's opinions are on the third party apps, all of them should be removed from the game. I don't care what they do. The, the game was made just for the game. You know, it wasn't made for everybody to add on things and use things within it. There shouldn't be any of that allowed. So I'm glad that these things are being removed. Whether or not that lowers the amount of cheats that we see within the game remains to be seen. Obviously, if we start to see bans start to lower, then it could be that some of these third party apps have indeed been used for cheating purposes. But we'll just have to wait and see on that. Battle Eye that currently run the anti cheat technology of PUBG have tweeted saying that they banned 1,044,000 cheats in January alone but they said unfortunately things continue to escalate and this is why PUBG have decided to do their own in-house anti-cheat technology as well. They've also removed Steam family sharing which allowed you to share your account with others that's now gone that's not a feature that's allowed anymore so yeah they're clamping down on this big time and it is about time that they did this because especially over the last two months the amount of cheats within the game has been absolutely ridiculous it's put a lot of people off playing it it's put a lot of people off buying it it could be one reason why the xbox version of the game is shooting up in sales because there's no cheats on there so if you want the pubg experience cheat free you buy it on the xbox you know and it's just one of those things that hits PC gaming where it hurts is because it's so easy to cheat on this platform. It's a constant problem, it puts a lot of developers off even developing games for the PC because they know it's going to get riddled with cheats and they're going to have to put so much resources into sorting cheats out. You know, without the cheats, PC gaming would be in a far better place than it is right now. But hats off to PUBG, they are trying hard and hopefully this new anti-cheat technology gets rolled out at some point this week and we'll see a drop in the cheats overall. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen i'm gonna get out of here as always thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one take care